Here they come. Even the big ones are following. They are all coming in. That's our first one to learn the theory. See, now the advantage of them uh, coming to the river, so at least they got two chances to drink twice. Uh, they, they drink in the morning when they come, then they cross, they go have some acacia, then they come back, drink again, cross, then end up to the north, where they like spending their night. So, look at what they're drinking, this is something very beautiful. Something that's quite spectacular because not all the time you find them drinking. Sometimes you find they're already closed or other time you, you come right, you find the elephant has already gone to the other side. You got one kicking the dust, that's a big male. Yeah. can tell by the size. Are elephants good swimmers? Maybe like when the river is overflowed, do you think maybe they can be able to close this river? Uh, definitely, I've seen them swimming. Yeah. They are super good swimmers. Of course, uh, when the currents are too big, then they might maybe sweep them away, but it's not easy. Yeah. So we, we can judge it or we can say elephants are good swimmers or all of them. Because if this river, they always close it when the water level is quite high. Since they are good swimmers, all of them. But they have quite a lot of young cows in the farming group, you see. Oh, there's a one tiny, tiny one there. How old do you think that one is? It's one which is very tiny. Wow, see how he's going down to the river. See, tiny one coming down. Wow, that's a tiny one. I bet this is the same elephants we saw in the morning because uh, there were like three females with three little ones and the little ones are, were almost the same size. So two already are inside the river, but there's one just enjoying the soft sand as they come down. That's why you see they kind of playing. Uh, kids are always kids and kind of enjoy. Maybe we can approximate maybe like how many liters maybe does one need to drink so that maybe early morning they were here and then again late in the evening they are back again to the river. Uh, this definitely depends on the size. Of course, the bigger the size, the more water you need. Um, but, but they say at a go, if they fill the, the, the trunk, that will be like 20 liters. Wow, that's uh, so if you do like four or five times, time maybe 60 liters. Uh, and this elephant, maybe can it survive? Maybe some, or can it stay maybe like a week without water? Well, it might, but of course, definitely hard for them because now they need the water for digestion and cooling down. That's why you see they do twice. They are like proper, proper drinking twice in a day. Quite amazing. I just switch that guy behind us to yeah. switch the vehicle. The ranger, Kedo Brace? Yeah. Kedo Brace rangers are here, man. Unbelievable. Yeah, they're doing just normal patrols. Yeah, normal, yeah. They're yeah. doing also their normal patrols in the, in the park. Amazing to find them here. <coughs> As you can see, maybe we have seen maybe quite a number of them, maybe crossing the river. Others, maybe they were taking some bath along the river. But still, there are some who have not stopped feeding all of them. What do you think, maybe all of these? Like, maybe they closed over. There were not enough food for them to feed on this end, and they go to the other end. What is the main reason maybe they go to the other end? Yeah, 
Yeah, they're quite too tiny and small they are more. So what happens if they are going to cross the river right now? I've seen some uh, footage before that the small ones are always upstream. So the moms are protecting them from getting washed away. Or by the, by the water. Let's, watch, let's wait and see what's going to happen because I know most of the time I've seen even them crossing the river and one baby was carried by the current of the river and it never went far. All the cows went further down to the river and they were able to rescue the young one. Like here the water level is too low. I don't think there'll be any problem with the young ones because of the reason. Maybe, have you ever seen them maybe crossing wall when the river is full or <clears throat> what do you think? You know, sometimes I just get carried away yeah. just watching them what they're doing. I just even lack words to explain. So uh, you let them be a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Then you start maybe <laughs> explaining. <laughs> explaining yeah. maybe you know, what they're doing all It's just that. fascinating. It's just beautiful watching them. Beautiful, beautiful. So basically, it is a, a typical size of a family of elephants we have in Samburu. Yeah. Yeah, mostly 15 to 20, more, not more than 30. Uh, as you said, also, the big male right in the middle, that's a, a temporary member. Okay, so he's not permanently in the group. So he, just sticking around, maybe some females are... On ostrich, yeah. they are maybe getting ready. Hopefully, he could be play his own his own cards. Hoping maybe one of the days things might be better and then yes. he might be getting a good chance but again, of mating. That, yeah, but again, that he has to keep on checking. Yeah. If they are not, then he hits the road. If they are, then he sticks around. He stick along with yeah. the family to do his job. They must be enjoying this water. They've really? been there or maybe, they, now. or maybe they could have come from a far distance. Maybe they started feeding from the morning hours. And this is the time now they arrived in the in the river by this hour. Yeah, and again we had hot afternoon. Yes. Yeah, from from twelve um, up to now it no. was really, really hot. So definitely yeah. they need to cool down a little Quench bit. Yeah. 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 And of course back on their mind they know uh, this chance will come again tomorrow. So after this, they they will cross probably, then they walk all the way up the hill. So they know there's no other drinking until tomorrow, so they have to have enough. Enough water. Uh, basically, yeah, just the same way we do in our, with our vehicles. You know, you going far, then you feel, you feel, you feel your you tank. You feel the tanks. Uh, knowing that the next opportunity might be Maybe, maybe after two or three days, maybe the time you look Absolutely. You get another gas station. Yeah, there. yeah. So what's the name of that river and where is where's the origin of the river? The river, it's called Ewaso Nyiro. Ewaso is a river, Nyiro means brown. So it's a brown river in Ma or Samburu language. So actually, the river consists of 47 tributaries. So it originates from the Mount Kenya and the Abadea Ranges. So small, small rivers from the mountains, then all of them keep on. When they reach here, there are more than 47 rivers. So recently in February, this river was super high, extremely high. But this is the typical time. But now I, I'm told it's also raining up, upstream. So we expect tomorrow or next two days it might go higher. Uh, and where does the river end? Because I see the river flowing all the way from Mount Kenya heading downwards. Uh, and it join the oceans or where does it go? Yes, if you look, the river is flowing to our left, which means our left is east. Uh, then it flows to a big swamp called the Lorian Swamp. Then uh -huh. it disappears on the ground. Um, According to those who have been researching on the rivers, they say they make two rivers underground. One yeah. pops up in Somalia, another one in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. So wow, they, end up, they end up in the Indian Ocean. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There are, there are times maybe in the year whereby this river dries up 
or maybe some types of the year, sometimes there's no water in the river? Well, the whole of north, uh, it's actually semi-arid. So sometimes we, we have longer periods of dryness, like with no rain at all. Yeah. That's for months. And uh, the river becomes very, very small, or sometimes it dries up. Uh, but not really completely, but sometimes with these uh, unpredictable weather, weather patterns, patterns due to the global warming, yeah. it's no longer predictable. Sometimes we have a lot of rains when we are not expecting. Sometimes we expect a lot of rains, then we have a lot of droughts, like huge, huge droughts. Um, so like tomorrow uh, in our program, we'll be picking kids from the village and bring them for a game drive to see exactly how beautiful this is. That's basically to impart this knowledge to them, the goodness of, you know, taking care of the nature. So you don't just take care by mouth. It's not a word of mouth, it's about action. Uh, so one of the actions is planting trees. We just encourage them, uh, you know, to, to replace the trees which have been, people have been cutting down. Because that's one of the reasons we have these global warming. And of course the main effect or the most affected, uh, the main casualties are the animals. Yeah, because they don't know what's going on, what the hell is going on. They just find themselves in getting into a mess that uh, humans are causing due to human activity. Human, human yeah, activity. Yeah. Well, it has been sad all over the world that this coronavirus like stopped all the activities, no more flying, but uh, they say in a day we'd be, we've been having thousands of the plane on, on the air every day. You know, factories running. Now, it is so sad for everybody because you can't travel, but again, for the nature, it's kind of a little bit uh, somehow kind of, positive. We have also positive and negative. You know, we, everybody, nobody in the past then we left this uh, beautiful, beautiful ground to breathe again, you know? Yeah. And um, this, that's, I think that's the other side of uh, the, the COVID-19. COVID-19, maybe pandemic. Maybe. Yes, yes. There is also some positive part of it altogether. Because even you can see in the parks, most of the road, there are a lot of grass now. We imagine by this time we're heading to high season and thousands of minibuses will be already in the park. But now nobody is thinking about coming to this area altogether. Not even a single one. We are just asked by ourselves and uh, kind of something special. Uh, I think it's a good opportunity we have to be streaming this uh, to, to the lovers of nature everywhere in the world who are watching us now. It's something beautiful. Extremely beautiful. Wow. See the young one taking a, a bath there down there. So apart from the elephants of the river, there are beautiful dome palms on the background. Uh, these dome palms are, they have the, the fruits, we call them palm nuts. Uh, those palm nuts are basically attracts a, um, a vegetarian vulture known as the palm nut vulture. There's something spectacular. Does this river have anything like maybe crocodiles or fish in the, the river? Well, you... up the stream, down the stream, there are crocodiles, of course. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they, they do. And the, the hippopotamus, have... not too many because yeah. uh, the river is highly so sandy, you know, so it gives them a little bit of a challenge, That's especially to around. breed and. To swim yeah, around. Yeah, to swim around. Do, do, that, do elephants have any challenges of the elephant? Does the elephant have any challenge when they're crossing the river through because of the crocodiles in the river? No, really, no, really. They are so big for crocodiles. Of course, the crocodiles are capable of taking uh, the baby elephants, but may, for, of course, bigger crocodiles, but mostly they, they avoid that challenge. Another main issue, like maybe. now, ladies and gentlemen, those who are streaming, it's my pleasure to introduce this beautiful, beautiful elephant crossing in Samburu Game Reserve. Those who maybe who might miss the migration back in Mara, already we have a crossing for the elephant in Samburu Game Reserve.
So the big boy have decided to lead the way. The big guy. Yeah. So he's looking forward to, to join some other females on this end of the river now. But like he's listening to something. See, they just go slowly, stop. Maybe wait, or maybe he's waiting for the other family group. It's kind of enjoying, you know. Yeah. Um, I can see the young ones. Yeah, see, maybe taking a bath behind your mother's father way back from the entrance of the river. Yeah. Okay, leave her now. I've seen one already who has got a collar. Who does the collar in maybe in this part of Samburu? Uh, we got an organization called the Save the Elephants. So basically the collar is to track them. Uh, and not, not just a regular elephants get collared. Mostly they look, maybe the matriarch yeah. as the female, because most of the time she dictates the direction of movement and the activity of the day. So it's easy to trace them and to know exactly how far, how long they cover during the day. And of course we say that sometimes you have droughts, so these elephants are forced to move for long distances to look for greener pasture and water. So that makes them easy to trace them, just maybe to make sure they are safe and, so you know. You can see also maybe they also track them for the security of the elephant too, as they are moving across the parks and their conservation areas. Altogether. Yeah, you never know. It's called a crazy world. You, know, you don't know who is there with what intention. So we, they don't, we don't give chances. So the moment they're outside the reserve, yeah. they are traced. You know, they you know, keep make sure they are safe and you want to know exactly the location and the, what they're doing. And if they are okay, all of them are the same number. Like all the members are present. Yeah. There's something beautiful. Look at the middle ones. The, the little one swimming. Enjoying. Extremely enjoying this beautiful, beautiful brown river. It's now, now like they have got the same command. All of them they have to close now. The river. See, the, the last single group, file, yeah. Uh, the last group has only started to follow the other guys or across. Since the part of the river is quite deep, you see where like the mid... The little one swimming? The one where they are swimming. Yes, yes. <laughs> Mama has gone back to see me. what's happening yeah, to yeah. the young one. Gotta make sure that they are safe and... Wow, what was the problem, man? Move out, guys. Don't fight. Cross over. Yeah, sometimes I get excited or maybe I think animals sometimes think better than humans. Look how elderly they are. They are like, you want to move with a single file. Without, sure. you know, they are playing sometimes, so, you know. Wow, man. man. This wow. could be maybe like a young boy who was trying to chase that mother or father way back. Oh, let's look at the middle part there. Maybe like the area is quite more deeper, so they're really enjoying that deeper part of the river. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. It's like they are taking their last but to go home now to sleep now, I see. No, they they still continue feeding. And how do these animals sleep? Do they sleep lying down or how do they sleep? A lot of times uh, they kind of relax. Elephants don't really sleep sleeping down, but babies can. A lot of them, they'll prefer just standing under the big trees for a shed. That's how they, they take their sleep or just a rest. I can see far mm -hmm. away, there's another group which is coming far away down. Yeah. We saw another group, but they're also coming all the way to, to this point. We wonder how they choose this point to be the main point where they're closing all of them. Well, I think uh, they also consider the easy way to come down because some banks are slightly steep. So easy to come down and coming out as well. 
Wow. But also they consider, of course, the size of the babies if they can make to make go to, to the other side. The other side with the other ease, side. yeah. So they are very choosy and also intelligent, kind of right? clever, intelligent animals. Yeah. So very close to us, I can see a yellow neck spot very close to us here. The small bird very close no, to us. He has come very close to us. Yeah. Just preening herself. I wonder maybe. Mm. Could be having some chicks around. Or yeah. It's just alone around the trees. And... And, and earlier, before they really talked about this plant, the salty plant. Maybe do the elephant also feed on them? If, if there's a plant which is very close to us here. And... A bush salt? No, no, no. Elephants, they are, they are impalatable. So, so they don't, like, they don't feel not nutritious and not tasty. So they don't really, yeah. So the guys are. So it's just something maybe yeah. just helping. The Quite a people. number of them are outside the river now. So what they gotta do? They'll be sometimes dusting, you know, just to suffocate some insects on their skin. Yeah. So that was a nice. Preview for the, for the live stream coming up at 4.30. Started early to make it possible for you guys to see it. So we're just tapping out for 20 minutes and then we are going to be back live. So stay tuned and I hope you return at 4.30.